Is stress experienced during early childhood always a bad thing? It seems pretty intuitive that if someone experiences a lot of stress in their childhood, it doesn't necessarily bode well for their future. We might even think of people who have experienced a lot of stress in their early childhood as more likely to have bad mental health that comes later in life, for example, in the form of a psychiatric disorder. But things don't always seem to be quite so simple. So in a new study, researchers at our institute looked closely at early childhood stress, and the results are actually pretty surprising. Uh, in this video, Matthias Schmidt, a research group leader at our institute, explains what they found. So stressors are part uh, of everyday life, right? And uh, one of the questions in research that, that is driving us is how uh, stressors can contribute to disease, but also to resilience. And one of the uh, quite surprising and interesting findings of our study is that stress is not always negative, but that uh, at least moderate stressors in early life can indeed drive resilience and prepare an individual to be better adapted to future stressors in adulthood. The other very important aspect of our findings is that this ability to drive resilience is actually sex specific. So females in our study were much more able to build this resilience towards future stressors when they have been exposed to early life adversity than male mice were. So this really indicates that the sex of an individual and, uh, is really important in that sense and that we also need to consider uh, that males and females or in humans, uh, women and men, will respond very differently to stressors and may also be treated very differently when they develop stress-related disorders. And here comes our molecular finding in play where we identified a key molecule, FKBP51, which seems to be important for mediating this response to uh, resilience and uh, can be used as a target protein to uh, drive stress resilience or to treat stress-related disorders uh, eventually, hopefully, also in humans.